Heyo, what is up guys? I hope you're all having an awesome Sunday. Uh, this week, especially these past couple days, have been surprisingly like inspiring. Uh, it all started when I stumbled across Jack and Finn or Jack's Gap on YouTube if you don't know them. Crawl out from under that rock. I came across um, some videos that they had posted about this thing that they did in India called the rickshaw run. Um, it's basically, you, you like get a team together in these little tut-tuts and like do this huge course. They drove all the way across India. Um, awesome experience and they also raised money for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Uh, if you guys want to see those videos, I'll put a link over here. Um, but that just kind of reminded me of some of like my trips that I had taken and how incredible they are and some of the memories and reminded me why like I love traveling so much. Uh, I've been incredibly fortunate to have traveled to now 14 countries outside of the United States and I'm not even 25 yet. But while I do count myself you know, incredibly unfortunate to have been able to travel to all of these places. Uh, I also have made it a priority in my life to travel. Uh, I think ever since Australia, which was my first big like experience of traveling as an adult without my parents, um, I've been completely addicted. There is something so enlightening about traveling and just like completely immersing yourself in another culture. <laughs> I don't even have a savings account. I have a 401k, I'm like a little one, but I worked at an internship and when I was done, I went and took a big trip. Uh, I, you know, now I'm in med school and we have very short breaks in between semesters and thankfully we get, you know, loan money. And so I live very tight during the semester and then I have this chunk left over and instead of giving it back and whatever, I use that money to like have life experiences during those breaks and take big trips and enjoy being young and being able to do these sorts of things. Um, because to me, those experiences are worth so much more than the financial security of having, you know, thousands in the bank for a super, super rainy day. Uh, you know, when you're 50 and you're looking back on your life, you're not going to remember that day that you checked your bank statement after not traveling for a year and being really happy with how many zeros were in your account. Uh, what you're going to remember are those incredible life-changing moments when you fly to Africa and volunteer in the orphanage and touch the lives of kids or when you go to Australia and you bungee jump at night in the forest into a lake on your 21st birthday. This is the time to have those experiences. Do crazy things. I used to be the kid who was like scared to do anything outside of my comfort zone. And the first month that I was in Australia, that completely changed. I was bungee jumping, scuba diving, um, I ended up later going skydiving, getting tattoos, just living my life without fear. But I think the biggest thing is how I see myself and how I now see the world. Um, it's very easy, I think, at least in our culture, to develop a 
US-centric view of the world. Um, but from traveling and from experiencing other cultures, I now consider myself a global citizen. With every experience that you have in another culture, um, a little piece of you is changed and that doesn't go away. And so when you are thinking about things, that component now plays a part in your thoughts and your decisions. And through that, it also helps you be able to relate to people who inherently are very different from you, which in today's world where we have access, very easy access to people on the completely other side of the world because of the internet and all that, that's an awesome thing to be able to have. And ultimately, the world gets smaller and your mind gets bigger. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, no, I don't have the savings account. And yes, med school has me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in debt, but I'm still an incredibly rich man. Not in money, but in experiences. And if you gave me the opportunity to go back and secure wealth, but I would have to give up all those experiences, I wouldn't do it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go plan my rickshaw run. I hope you guys are all having an awesome Sunday, and I'll see you guys on the other side.